Hello everyone, welcome to our Srijan Institute and Training Center. Here we are going to teach you all the aspects of our SAP modules with in-depth explanation based on real life scenario. I will be your complete AWAP plus HANA trainer on this channel where we are going to explain you each and every topic. On this screen you guys can see the various topics that are there and I am going to explain each and everything with in-depth explanation. So this will be my first video on this complete AWAP plus HANA course and I am going to start with the introduction part of our SAP. So before directly going to all the, those topics, it is a way that if you want to go to roof of your floor, you must use the stairs and step by step we will be able to reach your the roof of your house. So let's start with the introduction of SAP part. Before understanding SAP, we need to understand the term ERP. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Enterprise Resource Planning. Here, enterprise simply means any organization. Then we have this resource and then we have this planning term. So, accordingly, we are, what ERP is going to do, it will plan the resources of an organization in such a way that the profit of that organization can be maximized. So, the simple goal of any ERP software is to pro maximize the profit of the organization. That is why any organization is going to buy a ERP software so that there all the resources can be maximized, all the resources can be utilized in such a way that the profit of that particular organization can be maximized. Now, see this topic. Suppose, now see this, just take an example of any big organization like TCS, Cognizant, Tech Mahindra, Accenture, anyone, they have around lakhs of employees and if they are not going to manage them in an efficient way like some employees working only 2 hours a day and someone is working 15 hours of a day. So, this is not a efficient way, this is not a good way to treat the employees. Someone will be like, they are they will simply leave the organization and someone will is not only doing works more for more than two hours and is still getting paid more than that. So, this is really important that every or every people in the organization should be working at least eight hours a day and there will be the leave planning and the projects should be allocated accordingly. So, these kind of things should be managed otherwise the organization otherwise the profit of the organization can decrease within a span of time. So, this whole thing is basically managed by an ERP software and now you guys can relate this term with SAP. SAP is the best ERP software in the market. So, the purpose of ERP software is to manage the entire organization. I hope this definition is clear for ERP, ERP software. Now, let's discuss this SAP, how it came. SAP is, is an abbreviated term from the sentence system application and products in real time data processing. So, here we are going to do real time data processing, we are going to do real time data an analysis, we are going to do real time data implementation. So, system application and products. Now, you guys can relate this term. So, system application and product in real time data processing and SAP is basically the best ERP software in the market. That is why it is so popular that is why we see a lot of customers in the as of sap in the market you guys can see the big tech giants in our country itself like uh, accenture tcs all of them are implementing the sap software for to enhance their business scenario now the history of sap so sap was introduced by sap ag sap ag is the parent company of sap which was introduced by sap in 1972 at world drop so organization sap ag simply introduced sap in 1972 at world of germany and sap is a german based product sap is nothing but a german based product so, this is a really important definition that we need to understand that SAP was introduced in 1972 at Waldorf in Germany. So that is why it is a German based products. Then the next topic that we have is features of SAP. So, what are the various features of SAP? SAP is an integration of all function. It is an integration of all function into one common software. 
just relate this term it is an integration of all function into one common software that is all the function like for a company there are a lot of departments there will be sales and distribution department there will be material management distribution department there will be a department which will be controlling the finance role there will be a department which will be controlling the hr then there will be the technical department so all the it is a integration of all function into one common software that is all the functions should be integrated in a single common software which will be your sap software and we are going to handle it then sap is a multilingual software that is it supports multiple language so it is a multilingual software and it supports multiple language now just relate this term sap is a multilingual software and it supports multiple language all over the across the world there are multiple languages has is spoken across the world and what sap is going to do it tries to support all the language that is why we can see it supports 40 language across the world now see there is a country which is completely working on language urdu or there is a company which is completely working on german or there is a company which is completely working on french so to increase the business of sap what sap did it started to work in different languages across the world and that is why all of the countries started to accept the sap software to implement their business also sap is a user based license agreement that is it requires username and password here user based license agreement simply means that what we are going to do we will be simply using the username and password to access our sap server so if there is some data which is private to me no other is going no other user is going to access that particular data so here sap is going to give us this particular benefit that no other user is going to access the data if you do not have the credential i hope this definition for feature of sap is clear now the next topic that we have is architecture so sap architecture you guys can see this one is our sap gui graphical user interface now what is the architecture of our sap so like other applications there are three layers of architecture in our sap architecture three architecture the first one is presentation layer which is also known as user interaction layer that is what user is going to do it is going to use this presentation layer to interact with our sap server it is going to give input to, from the presentation layer and take the output from the presentation layer then the second one we have is the application layer so using application layer we are going to write the program and application so this one is our application layer this gui is our application layer where we are going to write the programs and application then the third one we have is database layer so database layer here in case of our hana we are going to use hana as the database so simply if you open any standard tables for now just you don't need to understand what i am doing here just see what i want to explain i will go to technical setting and i will go to db specific properties here just go to system and status and here you can see the server name so this is how here is a server name you can see the hana one is the server name here and in case of your database system you guys can see here hdb hdb is for hana database so in case of our as current situation hana is the most popular database around the world so for database layer we are going to use this hana as the database next thing that we have is sap net waiver so sap net waiver is an integrated technology platform this particular net waiver is an integrated technology platform which can support various sap application and it is basically a platform which is supporting the various sap application so all the application that you are going to see in sap it is supported by an integrated technology platform which is sap net waiver and what are all those sap application it can be erp it can be crm it can be srm it can be pi so erp means simply enterprise resource planning then crm is for customer relationship plan management then we have srm for supply relationship management then we have pi for 
process integration. This is an just an integrated technology platform in our SAP which can support the various SAP applications. So I have just explained you that we have got the application layer in the middle of presentation layer and database layer and we are going to write all the programs and applications but being a technical consultant we must need to understand how this application layer is going to work so let's discuss this application layer the parts of this application layer the architecture of this application layer now what is ABAP what is ABAP and why I have written this ABAP slash 4 what is the meaning of it so ABAP slash 4 here simply means that it is the fourth generation programming language in which every screen on SAP has been written whatever the, the screen that you are going to see this screen the back end there is a written program just go to system status you are going to see a program name will be there here you can see this one is a program name in this back end so for every SAP screen you are going to see that the screen will be written by using this using the module pool programming concept and the programming language for that particular screen is our ABAP and ABAP is advanced business application programming language so we are going to do the advanced business related thing and our programming will be application related that is this is the application layer this is the application layer of our SAP and we are going to do the programming on this particular application layer only and where ABAP lies, ABAP lies on application layer of SAP R3 architecture. So now you guys can relate this term why, what is this ABAP term and what is this slash 4 term and what is the programming language in our SAP. So ABAP is itself the programming language. It is not just a module, it is the main programming language of SAP where you are going to see that whatever the GUI, whatever the screen that you are going to open in any module, in the backend only ABAP is being used. That is why ABAP is the most important tech module in case of SAP. And if you are a code lover, you must learn this ABAP thing. Then let's discuss this part of our ABAP application server. Hard, how things are going to handle around here. So, above we can see this is the presentation server and then below we have this database server where all the data has been stored and in above here we have this presentation server where we have got the data we are going to take input from the user. So, this input is going to come from the user. Now, here what this one is the from the presentation server user is going to give input. So, the first component of our ABAP application server architecture is dispatcher. The first component of our ABAP application server architecture is dispatcher itself. Now, just relate this term. The first component of our ABAP application server architecture is dispatcher. So, dispatcher, all requests that come in from the presentation server are directed first to dispatcher. All the requests that are coming from this presentation server, they will be first directed to this dispatcher itself and this dispatcher is going to write their them first to the dispatcher queue. Suppose 100 of requests are coming from the presentation server to the dispatcher. Now how is it is going to handle here? So it is going to just transfer all those requests one by one into this dispatcher queue. And once the all of them are stored in the dispatcher queue, the dispatcher pulls the request from the queue on a first in first out basis. So once this particular thing is done that is all the requests have been stored into the dispatcher queue what dispatcher is going to do it is going to simply bring all of them one by one from this dispatcher queue and then it is going to allocate it to the first available work process. The second component of our ABAP application server is work process. So whatever the request that dispatcher uh, just kept into the queue it started pulling one by one and it then it started it is going to allocate to the first dispatcher it, it is from the dispatcher it is going to allocate to the first available work process and what is a work process so work process is the thing which is going to handle all the request and we can clearly say see here we have got multiple work processes that is we don't have one single work process we have got multiple work process and dispatcher is going to check that which work process is available and it will allocate the data accordingly. 
सो ए वर्क प्रोसेस हैंडल वन रिक्वेस्ट एट ए टाइम एंड अ वर्क प्रोसेस नीड्स टू एड्रेस टू स्पेशल मेमोरी एरिया द यूजर कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड द प्रोग्राम रोल एरिया सो दीज आर द नेक्स्ट टू कंपोनेंट द लास्ट टू कंपोनेंट ऑफ आवर अब एप्लीकेशन सर्वर यूजर कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड रोल एरिया हेयर सी वी हैव गॉट दिस रोल एरिया एंड वी ऑल्सो हैव द यूजर कॉन्टेक्स्ट इन दिस एप्लीकेशन सर्वर नाउ सो यूजर कॉन्टेक्स्ट वट इट इज गोइंग टू डू वेन a user is going to log in into the system the information related to the user will be stored into this user context that is the user context is a memory that contains information about the user so user context is a memory that is that contains the information about the user whatever the information that user has, has like his credential his user id his password and whatever the thing is going to do all of them is going to stored into this user context and it is not a permanent storage it is a temporary storage that is when a user logs on a user context is going to allocated for that log on and a user is going to log out when a user is log off that particular user context will be freed so it is just a temporary storage on the application layer the fourth component that we have in case of our abap application server it is role area so the fourth component that we have in case of our abap application server is role area now what is this role area so role area is a memory that contains information about the program execution here you can see here is the role area so whatever the program that user is going to execute that information will be stored into this role area memory it is a memory that contains information about the program execution so when a program is going to execute a role area will be allocated for that program a role area will be allocated for that particular program and this role area is freed when the program ends so when you are going to end your program this role area will be freed automatically so guys this was our first video of our complete abap plus hana course on our srijan institutes and training center just subscribe our channel and if you want to go for complete certification if you want to go for complete in depth training just you are we are you are required to just call to our center and you are going to discuss we are going to discuss all the things and we are going to help you to completely master abap and get a beautiful job here thank you very much